Hello and welcome back to Globesweeper Hex Puzzler. Only six levels remain, but the two worst nightmare levels of the game still remain, but we don't get to those just yet. For now, we're gonna jump into Swirl, and from now on, I think I'm probably gonna have to just do one level per video because these are, even though they're some of these, these two are not overly complicated. They do have some tricky sections to them, and they will probably end up taking a fair amount of time. So let's jump into Swirl and get started on this level. So right away, we just have this three. And when it's just normal tiles, I'm probably not going to explain too much. But here we have a minimum two tile. So this tile has to be part of a minimum two chain. So one and two. Same here, one and two. And now we can't connect this tile up because then we wouldn't have a two chain for this tile. Also, we would get too many for this four cluster. So that's disconnected. Then some normal tiles here. Let's continue on this way. So here we have a max two. We have to have a two chain somewhere around it, and we can only fit a two chain in these three tiles. And because we only have three tiles, we have to mark the center. If we remove this tile, then we can't make a two chain anymore. So that has to be marked. And now we have our two chain. So this has to be disconnected so that we leave one two chain for the max two. Well, I mean, it's max two anyway, so that doesn't really matter. Then normal tiles. Then here we have a max two area with a two chain here. So we can't connect up either of these two tiles or we become a three chain in this area. So these are gone. But now we have the first little trick here. In these three tiles, we have to mark two tiles for this three. In other words, out of these three tiles, we can only remove one tile. And if we say remove this tile, then we mark these two and we get a two chain. So this tile would be removed, that's fine. If we mark this tile, or remove this tile, we would mark these two, and get a two chain here, and we would disconnect all of these tiles, that would be fine. But what would happen if we remove this tile? Then we have to mark a two chain here, but that's now connected up to this tile as well, becoming a three chain within the max two area. So that's not possible. This tile cannot be removed, we have to mark it. And that now gives us the third tile for this three, so we can move on up here. Max two here in three tiles. Once again, the middle tile has to be marked. Basic tiles here, until this point. Now, this is probably the hardest part in the puzzle, I would say, the hardest little section. It took me a while to see this the first time. I kept thinking about the uh, 8 and 14. You can you can leave this for now and then like solve up until this point, but you'll uh, kind of have a break point here, or like it'll cut off and you have to sort of think about this area on its own. So we have to do it eventually anyway, might as well do it now. But the trick here, which is pretty hard to see, is only related to this max two. We can ignore the 8 and 14 completely. So. For this three, we have to have one of these two tiles marked. And since we already have a tile here and a tile here, that means that regardless of which one of these tiles will be marked, we will create a two chain. If we mark this tile, then we have a two chain here and these three tiles all have to be deleted. If we mark this tile, then we have a two chain here and these two tiles need to be deleted. So because of that, this tile is the tile that cannot be marked in either case. If we mark this tile, then say we have this tile for the three, we've made a three chain. If this tile is marked and we mark this tile for the three, then we've again made a three chain. So this tile out of these four can never be marked and we have to delete it. And that gives us a five, and we know we'll use one of these two tiles completing the three, which means we need to mark the remaining four tiles surrounding this five. And at that point, we've created a two chain here within this max two area, so we can't connect up this tile anymore. And then we get that tile marked. And now we can count the eight here, which has four and eight. So this tile is removed. Now here we count the 14. We have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. And we need one more tile, but we also need one more tile for this five. And because this and this tile are both connected to this 14 cluster, Using one of these two tiles, the 14 cluster will be done, which means at that point it can't be connected to any other tile that is touching it. So this tile and this tile can be deleted. 
And then we get a one here that is already completed, so we can remove all of these tiles. And now we get this tile for the five, and that little area is solved until this point. Pretty complicated stuff, but the rest of the puzzle overall isn't isn't as bad, I would say. But there is like one or two more tricky bits here. So now we just solve some stuff normally. Onward this way. This four cluster has to go on here for four, and then disconnect all the uh, connecting tiles. And this two is now done. Uh, should we go up or down? I can never remember. I think we can go down. Ah, uh, oh boy. Yeah, I don't remember. I guess let's go down. Here, max two in three tiles. Once again, we have to mark the center tile. Once again, center tile. And the one here. Now here, we have four tiles already marked for this four area. So all of these tiles are disconnected. The zero here is done. This five only has five tiles surrounding it. And now here, uh, which one is it? I think we start with the eight here. The eight has five tiles here and one tile here. So six tiles total. And in these four tiles, we can we have to mark two more tiles. We can only mark two more tiles. Now, if we count the seven here, we have four tiles. And in these four tiles, we need to mark three tiles. But if you look at the overlap here, we have three tiles of overlap here. But we can only use two for the eight, because the eight has six. We can at most mark two of these three tiles. And for the seven, since we have four, we can at most have two in here. That would be six. And that means we have to have the final tile marked here. And that also means that for the seven, we have to have two tiles marked in these three tiles. So for the eight, since it has six, it'll get eight from these three. And this tile cannot be marked. That gives us a max two tile with a two cluster here, so we can't connect those two up to anything else. And then a max one here with a tile here, so we can't connect up the adjacent tile. And once again, can't have a two chain here, and ha can't have a two chain here. And at this point, right, at this point, we just have two tiles left here, so we have six tiles, seven and eight. That completes this three. Uh, now here we have a max three in four tiles, which means we always have to mark these two center tiles, because the only way to make a three chain is to have these three tiles marked or these three tiles marked. If we disconnect either of these two tiles, we can no longer make a three chain surrounding this max three tile. So we have to mark these two, which gives us a three chain and we can disconnect this tile. And we get these two for the, the two here. Once again, the max one can't have a two chain, so disconnect that tile. Now here, minimum two. We have a two chain here, so we could in theory go onward to a three chain because it's a minimum. But if we do, if we mark this tile, then we only have two more tiles and there's no more space to make a separate two chain for this minimum two tile. So we can't mark this tile or we can't have a two chain. So we have to disconnect that. Now we get the three here. Now this minimum two has one tile here. We have to mark this tile as well to make it a two chain minimum. And the two here is done. Max one can't have a two chain, so disconnect that. I can probably not really explain max one tiles at this point. Uh, I think maybe we should go onward here. I think this one ends like in this area or so. So the three here is done. Max one, so can't connect up a two chain. Uh, once again, a minimum two with five tiles. We have two tiles here. We once again can't mark this tile or we can't make a two chain that is separated from it. So that this tile has to be disconnected. A max two, now we have a two chain, we once again can't mark this one, but I mean, because we have a two chain that time. And then we get these two tiles. Minimum two means we have to mark. Uh, this tile is a one tile, or like, we have a one chain here, it has to be a minimum two chain, and this is the only option for it. Now here we have a four cluster with three tiles. It will be completed using this tile or this tile which means that this tile that's connected to both of them has to be disconnected because if we mark this tile, then either way the four completes, it would connect up to this tile and become a five cluster. So that we can delete. And now we know one of these two will be marked for the four cluster, which will complete the one so these tiles can be disconnected. I guess this one does go on. Maybe this is the one that no, I think you can go on there as well. This is just a bit of a scatterbrain level, I suppose. Pretty much all of them are from now on. But then we just have some basic tiles here. A minimum two, we have one tile. We have to make it a two chain. And we have to preserve one two chain for this minimum two. 
so this tile is gone. Again, minimum two, same thing there. And just basic tiles here, minimum two, so one and two, and preserve the two. And then here we now have seven tiles, so disconnect these two tiles. And here we have a minimum one. We have a three chain, which is fine, but we also have to have a single lonely tile that is not connected to anything else for the minimum one. And this tile would be connected to these three, so it would become a, a four chain. So this is our only tile that can be separate as a one tile. So we have to mark that, and we have to disconnect this tile to keep it as a one tile. The four here is done. This minimum two as a tile here, it has to go on here to two at least. And then once again, we have to disconnect this tile so that we don't make just one chain of five and also just this three can't connect up to all of these tiles. And now here we have a max three tile. In five tiles, we have to make at least one three chain. I mean, we can only make one three chain. And to do that, we either have to mark these three tiles, these three tiles, or these three tiles. So similar to what we saw before, I mean, I guess it's not, not really, but the center tile now has to be marked. If we were to delete the center tile, then we would only have two tiles here and two tiles here, and we wouldn't be able to make a three chain for the max two. So we have to mark this tile, and because we do that, we can no longer mark this tile, or it would become a four chain for this uh, three cluster. So this tile you can already delete, and then we have to make the three chain here. Now at this point, this three has to use one of these two tiles to complete itself, the, the cluster, which means that this tile, once again, that's touching both of these tiles, can't be marked. If we mark this tile, we can't complete this three cluster without it becoming a four cluster. So this one is deleted. And we once again get a one. We have to have one of these marked, which will complete the one so these tiles can be deleted. Now here, we have a one tile here and a four tile here. So we have two tiles here. We have to mark two more tiles out of these three. But for this one, we can only at most mark one of these two. So we have to mark a third tile for the four here. We will need a fourth tile here, which will complete the one so this tile cannot be marked. That gives us a max two. With only two tiles, we have to have a two chain. So we have to mark both of those tiles. And then the one here is done. And this is done, and we didn't even need to look at this 7 at all. I think you can, I just didn't do that. And then we just complete these tiles. Now here, I, I can honestly just save you the trouble and say this 17 cluster has 17 in the cluster, so none of the tiles connected to it can be connected or uh, marked. The 3 here needs one more tile, completing the 2. A minimum two, once again, one and two, and we have to keep a two connected to it, so this tile is deleted. Once again, minimum two, maximum one, we can't have a two chain. Max one, max one, max two, we have a two chain, so disconnect that. And the two here is done, and we get that. Max one here, and now here, a max two area. We have a two chain here, so we can't connect up either of these two tiles. This one is now done. And we can just continue on here. This three needs this tile. We get the four here. And now we've made a two chain here, so neither of these two tiles can be marked. This four marks these two tiles. And the max one can't have a two chain here, so that's disconnected. And the five marks all of these tiles. The two here is done. Again, some basic tiles here. Until that point. Now, here we have a six area with six tiles already marked, so this tile has to be disconnected. And the three is done here. And just once again, basic tiles, max one, so disconnect the golden tile from everything else. Minimum two, so one and two. And as we've seen before, in five tiles, we have to disconnect the middle tile or we can't make another two chain. Same thing here, minimum two, disconnect the middle tile. Minimum two, disconnect the middle tile. Maximum one, we can't make a two chain here, so disconnect that tile. And now, yeah, right, here's another slightly tricky bit. So here we have an eight uh, area with two tiles, and we need to mark six more tiles in these seven tiles. But if we think about this max one, we can't mark all three of these tiles. Because we can't have chains more than one, we can at most mark two out of these three tiles. We could mark this one and this one, and they would still be in one chains. So if we account for that, we have two tiles here, 
we can at most have two more, so that's four here, and then we would have five, six, seven, and eight. So we have to mark all of these tiles, and we will need to use two out of these three tiles, which means the center tile can't be marked. If we mark the center tile, the max one would need to disconnect these two tiles, and we wouldn't have enough for the eight. So this one's disconnected, and these two have to be marked. And because we've done that, this whole chain of minimum twos has to have a two chain and a two chain and a two chain. This three is now done. Once again, a max four, a max three in four tiles means we have to mark the two center tiles here, giving us a four, a three chain. So disconnect that, and this four here. A minimum two, so one and two, one and two, and we have to disconnect the center tile. This five area is already complete, so disconnect all of these tiles. And the three here, and just normal tiles. Uh, and I guess we just leave this now? I think this is a dead end for the moment. Yeah, so let's leave that behind, and this we have to leave behind as well. And we have to go back all the way to this part again. So here we have a five area with two tiles. For this three, we can mark, we have to mark two more tiles here, which gives us four tiles total. And then we have one more tile that we need to mark to mark five tiles. But once again, that's all we can do here. So we have to leave this behind yet again and go up here all the way at the start again. That's why I probably should have gone this direction earlier, but oh well, it doesn't really matter. Max one here, can't have a two chain. A minimum two, so one and two. And we have to disconnect the middle tile, as we've seen many times. The three here. Normal tile solving here. Max one, can't have a two chain. These four, max one, max one. And here, a max four, now in five tiles. Similar to having a max three in four tiles, uh, if you think about the possibilities, we have to have a four chain in these five tiles, and the only two ways to do that is these four tiles or these four tiles. So regardless, these three center tiles will have to be marked. If we disconnect any of these three tiles, we no longer have the option to make a four chain. So these have to be marked, which gives us the four chain, and we can disconnect this tile. Now here we get a four chain area, and or a, a max four area, rather, and we have a four chain, which means none of the tiles connected to it can be marked, because that would make a five chain. Uh, at this point, minimum two here. Once again, we've seen this plenty of times, the middle tile in five cannot be marked. We get the three here. One tile here has to become a two chain. Max one can't become a two chain. Max one, max one, and the two there is done. Max one here again. And the two there is done, and this three. Max one, so disconnect these two tiles. Max one, so disconnect these two tiles. And the five there. And then here as well, max one can't be a two chain here. And that one is done. A max two in three tiles means we have to mark the center tile. And that gives us the two chain. Minimum two in four tiles now, so we have one tile here, we have to mark this one for a minimum two chain, and at this point we can't mark another tile because then we don't have enough room left to make a separate two chain. So we have to disconnect this, and now we also have to disconnect this tile because it can't be part of a two chain for this minimum two. And we get that, a max one here, has one tile, has to be disconnected there. Max two chain here, two tiles here, we have to disconnect this middle tile. That now gives us these two for the three here, completing this three. And at this point, we have to look at these two uh, three areas. And this is a little trickier here. Uh, what was it you did here now again? Right, okay. So, yeah, the tricky part here is knowing which tile to think about. And honestly, I'm, I'm bad at explaining this. I don't really know how to, like, tell you what tile to think about or, like, why you have to think about that. But the tile is this tile, if you just consider which tiles can be marked and which tiles can't be marked. Uh, just, I, I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's, it's hard to think about this. It took a long time to figure out. But if you just consider this tile, if we were to mark this tile, we would have a three chain here, which means the max three is done and we would have to disconnect all of these five, four tiles. Now, this minimum three area 
also touches this tile, and because we've disconnected all of these tiles, it would just have a single tile with no possibility to make it into a three chain. So if this tile is marked, this three chain, minimum three, can't be completed. Because of that, we have to disconnect this tile. But yeah, that is kind of easier said than done, honestly. There are just some, some situations like that. There will be more in the, the future levels that are just like, you just have to figure out that this tile can't be marked, and there's not really much to it other than that. Now at this point, for this four, we have to mark three more tiles out of these four. In other words, we have to disconnect one tile or remove one tile. Now, what would happen if we remove this tile? Then we have to mark these three tiles for this four, and we would have a five chain in this max three area. Same for this one. If we disconnect this tile, we would mark these three tiles and get a four cluster in this max three area. So these two tiles cannot be uh, removed at all or it would create too many in a chain for the max three. So we have to mark these two tiles. That gives us a three cluster with two tiles. We can't connect up this tile or it connects up to too many tiles. So that's removed. Now at this point, the three cluster has to go to one of these two tiles, which means this tile that is connected to both of these tiles can't be marked. Uh, and now, at that point, since we removed this tile, we can look at this minimum three, which has two tiles here, and we have to connect these up to a minimum three chain within this area. So the two here only have one option, they can only go up here to become a minimum three chain, which gives us the, uh, the tile needed for the three here, so these two tiles are removed. And now the three cluster here has to go up this way, and then it's done and has to be disconnected. And then we get the four here, max one here, can't have a two chain, and the three there, two is done, two here, max one, can't connect up these two tiles, and this two, and just some basic tiles. And, oh, we're not done, but there we go. I guess I could have, wait, oh yeah, once we were done with this part, I could do this area. So. Here now we have the uh, an 8 cluster of 5 tiles. We have to go on up here for 6 tiles, completing this 3, so this tile is removed. Then we have to continue here for 7 tiles, completing this 4, so this tile is removed. And then we have to continue on up here for 8 tiles, and now disconnect the remaining tiles to preserve the 8 cluster. So there we go. Yeah, kind of, kind of a rough level, but not really as bad as this behemoth we just unveiled, the ring, which is probably the hardest and most taxing level in the game, I would say. But there's also, I think, this one is bite size, which uh, is also very hard to explain, so that's gonna take a while. But for now, I'm gonna leave it there, and next time we'll take a look at Slit, which is about on par with this level, I would say. Not super hard, but pretty, pretty hard compared to most of what we've done so far in the game. So, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, I'll see you some other time. Bye-bye!